I fly a Bonanza with an E-Series engine, and I'm concerned about the longevity of its engine's starter. This time in the ABS hangar, the tick trick for preserving the E-Series engine's E-80 starter with Continental E-Series engine expert, Lou Gage. What is your tick trick for increasing starter life and why is it important? Well, I'll show you why it's important. If you can uh, uh, see that, that's the starter jaw uh, gear out of an engine. And uh, here's the uh, uh, crankshaft gear right there. And the way that the E, it's, it's the E, 80 starter. This is not the 36 E14 starter is different. You don't, you don't need this tick trick. But what happens is, is the E80 starter is a very powerful motor and it's supposed to have a 200 pound release clutch mechanism in it, which they do. But what happens is, is if you just get in the airplane and push the starter button, the armature in the E80 starter is built up clear to full RPM or very, very close to it. And in order to uh, screw the, uh, the starter jaw down the shaft and engage this starter jaw gear here that, that's got these three, whoops, over this way. Yeah, it's got these three uh, lugs there. Um, why it it's a, d uh, delivers a sledgehammer blow to this gear and then and likewise, this gear delivers the slight blow to this gear, which is the crankshaft gear right there. And you're trying to turn this great big engine with this little tiny gear. You've only got about an inch and a quarter or inch and a half at the most lever arm from the center of the crankshaft out to the edge of the gear. You can imagine if you had a little wrench on that crankshaft and trying to turn that crankshaft and start that heavy propeller and crankshaft and all that stuff moving, uh, that it takes quite a lot of force. Well, uh, unfortunately, that starter, when it uh, when it's all the way up to speed like that, when those when the, the, these three lugs engage uh, with the starter jaw that's on the starter, this is an uh, engine part, the starter jaw gear, but when that starter jaw comes down and hits those those three lugs there, why it's just like a it's a sledgehammer blow. Well, the E80 starter, uh, the the starter jaw in the E80 starter is returned out of engagement with the starter jaw gear uh, by the engine overspeeding the uh, starter, which you've released the starter button, and so that it stops turning. And so the engine turns this, this starter jaw back down the shaft and disengages these. Well, the, the way to limit or to greatly reduce the stress and strain on these gears, and it, it might break the gears that are in the planetary gear reduction system that's part of the starter or it'll break these engine gears like this, is to get the, 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 those two segments engaged uh, without, the, without the starter developing all this power. Well, uh, you can extend the starter jaw uh, by just ticking the, the starter button. And it's a little, a little talent and a little artwork involved here. But if you just tick it, the motor will spin, it will turn enough to screw that starter jaw down the shaft and engage the starter jaw gear. And what you'll see is, is you'll just see the prop just barely move. The, the blade tip might move an inch if you do it right. And then you, when you push the starter button again, that big powerful motor will begin a nice smooth rotation of the engine 
without it being way up to speed and hammering those two segments together. The very first starter that was on the Bonanzas was really the best because it had the old, if any of you have ever flown the old C-85 in a Cub or in a, a T-Craft or something, you know, in a Luscom, you had a D-handle that you pulled. And the first action that you pull a D-handle, there was a shift lever that engaged the gears. That was the first thing. So the gears are, were completely engaged. And then the last action of pulling that D handle made the electrical connection and started the motor turning. Well, Beach didn't use a D handle. That wasn't classy enough for a Bonanza. So they used a solenoid, but it did the same thing. When you push the starter button, that solenoid pulled a shift arm in, engaged the gears. And then after the gears were engaged, it also made the connection to the electric uh, part of the motor and it would start a nice smooth rotation. No, those starters had a fairly weak motor, and, and uh, so sometimes the, you had trouble with them, but the engagement mechanism was far better than having this, uh, this uh, uh, E80 starter method. Like I say, the 36 E14 doesn't, uh, isn't, do, doesn't do that. It's the E80 starter. And uh, I've always maintained, and I, put it in print a number of times that Continental did a lousy job of designing the starters on uh, that have these internal gears and so forth. The Lycoming is a good way with a big flywheel and a ring gear and an automotive type uh, starter uh, engagement. They, they don't, and if anything breaks on those, it's outside the engine. When you start breaking these, it's inside the engine. And here's some, some starter parts, uh, E80 starter. If you take a look down in the lower left, uh, left uh, there, uh, you see how the difference in the settings on these uh, on the clutch mechanism is. This one on the left, you see it's it's the clutch is set way too high. A more normal setting it looks like the one on the right here, where the the, the part that compresses the springs is about right at the uh, end of that uh, that shaft and uh, then uh, uh, then you see here uh, this in the upper right part of that you see there's the starter jaw and the starter jaw gear and those are that's what breaks uh, over here on the right it gives you an idea what the size of this crankshaft gear is there's a quarter there which uh, quarters are getting smaller as well as the dollars are now. But uh, anyhow, the you got to turn that big engine with this little, little tiny gear lever arm. And uh, so it takes just to get a smooth turning of the engine takes quite, puts quite a lot of force on that, on that gear. And when you do it, all of a sudden just co-clam with a sledgehammer blow, you really are putting a lot of strain on these gear teeth. And even though, and, and uh, stress in steel is cumulative over time, you know, even though you have the, the things magnaflux when you're rebuilding the engine, that tooth may be about ready to break. It might not be cracked, but it might be about ready to break. And so in order to lessen the stress and strain on engines that have the E80 starter installed, while well, you do the tick trick, you just tick, uh, push the starter button, you tick the starter button, that'll get the motor, the starter motor enough and screw into engagement the, the drive elements and you'll just see the end of the propeller move. It'll just move a little bit. That's a perfect job. If it moves six inches while you Picked it too long. This video is part of the American Bonanza Society's ABS Web webinar series, free to members in the ABS Online Learning Center. Log in or become a member at bonanza.org. Don't miss another edition of the ABS Hangar. Subscribe to the American Bonanza Society YouTube channel. We'll see you next time in the ABS Hangar.